Hi everybody, everybody I'm back. Everybody Jeannie Young is back and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. Today I'm gonna to show you all how to make a orange dreamsicle cream cake. Listen here, it's so flavorful, it's packed with flavor, does not require a lot of ingredients. And listen here, it tastes so good. Now, some of you might say, what is a dreamsicle? A dreamsicle are the popsicles that we all loved as a child. They were a popsicle and it had orange on the outside and it had vanilla ice cream in the middle. And sometimes there's a little streak of orange flavoring going through the middle. Or have you ever heard of the orange uh, float, like a root beer float, except for you use the orange soda and vanilla ice cream. When you pair up those two flavors, like a miracle happens in your mouth. And we're gonna turn this into a cake today. And I'm so excited to share with you all my recipe that's close to my heart, Gina Young style, orange dream sickle cream cake. You all never had this before, you better make you some. You better make you some. Okay, everyone, here are the lovely ingredients, what you will need. You're going to need orange slice, the chewy candy, okay? And that's the candy that we're all familiar with that has the sugar on the outside. Now, if you don't want to use this, this will be used for a garnish. If you don't want to use this, by all means, you can use real slices of oranges, okay? It's really up to your discretion, all right? You're gonna need orange jello. And I have two boxes of the orange jello. You're gonna need French vanilla jello pudding, as well as sweetened condensed milk. You will need orange extract, okay? Cool whip. And then you will need vanilla cake mix, okay? Now, whatever cake mix you decide that you'd like to use, your ingredients might be a little bit different from mine. So you use whatever your box calls for. Today, I'm gonna to use the one cup of water that this calls for, a half a cup of vegetable oil, and three eggs. You're gonna need milk, and we're going to oil this pan here. We're gonna oil it and flour it just like so. So what I like to do is I just like to take a paper towel and rub the oil all over the pan, making sure that you get the sides. And then we're gonna sprinkle some flour into this pan and we're gonna shake the flour all over the pan so that we don't have any issues when we go to cut our cake. We wanna be able to take it out with no problems. Okay, so now that we have our oil on, let's sprinkle some flour on as well. Now that I have the flour on, I just like to hit the flour all over the cake pan until even the sides are well dredged with the flour, making sure you hit all that extra flour off, okay? I'll do the other part over the sink, that way the extra flour can fall on in the sink and not onto my pan or my counter. This is what your cake pan should look like, nice and lightly floured, lightly oiled. Okay, so now what I like to do is get my measurements all together, all of my ingredients that we're gonna put inside of the cake. We're going to put three large eggs, and I always like to crack my eggs into a separate bowl, just in case you were to have a bad egg or in case you were to get egg shells, you don't have to throw your whole cake mixture away. All right, so always crack it into a separate bowl, just like so, beautiful. And then we're going to put some vanilla in. When I make a cake, I always like to use extra vanilla. How much? Just put you some in there. <laughs> All right, so then we have our cake mix. Let's bring our mixer. Now, all of this can be mixed by hand. By all means, you do not have to have a stand-up mixer like I'm using today. You don't have to have a handheld mixer either, okay? This can be done by hand and it's gonna turn out amazing as well. Okay, so we're just gonna put the cake contents into a mixing bowl. 
And then we're gonna put our three eggs and vanilla right into the mixture. Okay. We're gonna put that half a cup of oil that they're axing for right on in, and then I'll grab one cup of cold water. I hope that you all are having a great day today. I hope that you all are having an amazing week as well. The weekend is just about here. We have one, eight, one cup of water going right in. Make sure that your water is always cold water. Okay, now we're gonna give this a mix. If you're mixing this by hand, just make sure you take the time to get air into those eggs. I always say that when I make a cake. Give it time to whisk some air into those eggs and you're gonna wind up with a nice, beautiful, fluffy cake. Always take the time to get air whisk into your eggs. I'm gonna start off by low, okay? I'm gonna start off going low because if you're gonna use any type of mixer like this, you start up on high, you're gonna have a big poof of cake mix right in your face. Once you start to mix, you can work your way up. Now you can turn the speed up a little bit. Just like so, if you haven't heated your oven up to 350 degrees, you wanna do that. Now with this recipe, you can use the, the round cake pans if you'd like and you can layer this cake, absolutely you can. That would be a lot of fun. It's really up to your discretion. Right now I'm gonna whisk some, some nice air into my eggs, and then I'm gonna scrape the sides down to make sure that I've got everything at the bottom. Normally you would use the paddle attachment, but for this, this mixer, I don't have a paddle attachment, so I'm just gonna use my whisk. Beautiful. Now I'm going to go in and I want to scrape the sides to make sure that everything is well incorporated and nothing is left out. We want everything to be well incorporated, even the bottom. Okay? So I always like to take this extra step to do that. All right? Next, we're going to pour our cake mix down into our pan that we've oiled and greased. Make sure you get it in here nice and even. All right, you don't wanna have a lopsided cake. You know, you don't wanna pour your mixture, you know, mostly on the left side and then you wonder why the left side is, or why the right side is really low, okay? So then what I like to do is I always like to tap it on the counter to get the air bubbles out. That's just something that I always seen my grandmom do. So I do the same thing. And then I like to take my rubber spatula and go along in this manner just to make sure that my cake is nice and even, okay? If it looks uneven, just move it around until it looks even to you, all right? Absolutely. Now we're gonna plan on cooking this cake for around about 30 minutes, 32 minutes. Uh, you know, when my grandma would be making a cake, she would say, it's done when you could smell it. And it was so funny. I'd be like, Grandma, how did, was you timing it? You know, and she'd be like, no, honey, go check on that cake. It's done. You know, and then she'd say, I can smell it. When you can smell it, it's done. And I find that that fact is actually true. It's so funny. You know, they knew what they were doing back in the days. You hear me? You better believe they did. At least my grandma did. <laughs> yes, she did. Okay, so I'm going to hit this. Get the air bubbles out. That's just something I like to do. That's enough. This is going in the oven, 350 degrees until golden brown. And you wanna take a toothpick or a fork and go down in the middle of your cake. If it comes out nice and clean, your cake is done. But if you put it in there, you bring it out and it's got a little bit of cake pieces on there, your cake's not done. All right, I'll let you know how long this cooked when I come back or when this gets done. Okay, everybody, what we're gonna do next while our cake bakes, I'm gonna show you how to make something really quick and simple. So let's take a large bowl here. 
we want to empty the contents of this orange jello. And this is, let's see, this is the three ounce of orange jello. You're gonna need three fourths cup of hot boiling water mixed in with this. This right here is a really important part that's gonna give this dream sickle case cake that amazing taste that we all love. Okay, so get all of the contents out of the little bag there. Let's boil three-fourths cup of the water. Okay, so we have three-fourths cup of boiling hot water. You wanna whisk it in just like so until the gelatin sounds like until you can't hear it anymore. Okay, you wanna try your best to dissolve it. The hot water will do the trick, but also whisking it really well will help it to dissolve even faster. Okay, so give it a nice whisk, and then we're gonna put in a half a cup of cold water into this gelatin. Okay, so I wanna whisk it for a little bit longer Then we'll put our half a cup of nice cold water in, just like so. Let me grab some cold water. Let's see, I have a little bit more than a half. Beautiful. Get that half a cup in, just like this. Now, this is gonna set and cool down a little bit while the cake is baking, which that's what you want it to do, okay? Now, I wanna tell you all there's a couple different ways we can do this. It's really up to your discretion. The way that I'm going to do this today is I like to add sweetened condensed milk in with my gelatin. Absolutely, it makes it so creamy. It brings out the flavor in the orange. It's just a mouthful of just happiness. Like your mouth is so happy when you mix this gelatin with this sweetened condensed milk. Oh my word, listen here. Now, there's another way you can do it. You don't have to do it that way. You can just pour this into your cake without the condensed milk. And it's good as well, but it's not good as adding the sweetened condensed milk. So you figure out which way you'd like to make yours. So we're gonna set this aside. The cake is cooking. Let's take a peek at the oven. You can see in the oven, the cake is starting to rise. It's just barely starting to get beautiful and golden brown. We're gonna be patient. It's only been about, I wanna say it's only been about 20 minutes. Okay, so now we're gonna put our sweetened condensed milk in with the gelatin and the water. And I use just about all of it. I always, for some reason, I don't know why I don't use all of it. I save about that much. You all can see how much, okay? And then we're gonna give it a nice whisk. Just like so, it's gonna get thicker and the orange is gonna brighten up a little bit more, but guess what? That's okay. That's what you're wanting. Beautiful. Ooh, wait, listen here. This is gonna be so good. Okay, so now that we've mixed this, this is still going to sit just on your counter. You don't have to put it in the refrigerator or anything because we're not trying to make it set up. This is gonna be poured into the holes of the cake and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna put the holes in the cake. So now that everything is well incorporated, you just kind of wait. And you're gonna wait on your cake to get done. Okay, everyone, so our cake is just about done. I just checked it and it needed five more minutes. This is the sauce that we just made and you can see it's thickening up and that's what you want it to do, get nice and thick. And we're gonna pour it down in the holes of the cake. Okay, so around about five minutes, I'll be back. Okay, everybody, our cake it's done. The cake took 26 minutes on 350 degrees. And you can see I just stuck a butter knife. This is the first stick and it wasn't done and I stuck it in again, 
perfectly done. It's beautiful. My house smells so good right now. I cannot wait to give you all a taste of this and show you how amazing this cake is. So what I like to do, I always like to let it set for at least 10 minutes before we poke the holes in it. And what I like to use, you can use a fork, you can use um, the back of a wooden spoon, you can use a wooden dowel. I like to use this here. I always do when I poke a cake, and when I go in, I kind of twist and turn it a little bit to make that hole nice and big. We'll come back in 10 minutes and do just that. Okay, so it's been around about 10 minutes the cake has cooled, and now it's not completely cool. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna poke holes all over this cake, you know. And some of you might say, oh my gosh, you were like messing that cake up. It's gonna look like you messed your cake up, but guess what, you didn't. You made crevices, you made holes and crevices that is going to make this cake absolutely amazing because the mixture that we are going to pour down into this cake really makes the cake. You're gonna get that beautiful orange color going all throughout this vanilla cake, and not to mention the color, but the flavor. The flavor is amazing. That orange flavor and the sweetness from the condensed milk. Oh my goodness, listen here. Mm, mm, mm. This almost reminds me a little bit, just a little bit, of my jello cake if y'all haven't seen my video for my jello cake check it out because it is similar it has a little bit of similarities but they're completely different cakes so i'm going to continue to do this just like so you don't have to do a pattern just get those holes all throughout so that your mixture can seep down into those holes Okay, and kind of twist and turn it to make those holes a little bit bigger like I spoke about. All right, I'm gonna to continue to do this cake and I'll be back when we're all done poking the holes. Okay, everyone, holes all throughout the cake. Now you have a holy cake. <laughs> Guys, I'm so silly. <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes. You do, you do have a holy cake. All right, get this goodness right into those holes and pour it slowly, okay? So that it can have a chance to get down into those holes. Beautiful, look at this. This is what you want. And you make sure you pour this in when your cake is still warm, all right? Just like so. And then once you get everything in there, you're going to take um, a rubber spatula and rub the extra into the holes, and then we're gonna put this directly in the refrigerator so that it can cool down, okay? Just like this, pour all of your mixture right down into, just like so. Let me grab my rubber spatula. Okay, now what I was talking about was taking that extra, you take it off the sides and you just put it in there. Get all that goodness. We don't want it on the sides. But guess what? It's okay if it goes on the sides, but you want the majority to seep down into those holes. Let's put this bad boy into the refrigerator so that it can cool down. And then I'm going to show you how to make an amazing frosting for this beautiful dream sickle cake. Okay, so everything's pretty easy, right? Pretty simple and easy. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to make our French vanilla pudding, okay? So you wanna pour your package into a bowl. Make sure your bowl is large enough, okay? Because this will double in size, all right? And we're gonna start off with two cups of cold milk. Make sure that your milk is cold. It has to be cold, all right? Now that I have two cups measured out, we're going to take orange jello. We're going to empty the contents right into 
And you don't have to use all of this if you didn't want to, or you can use the whole thing. Either way it goes, it's up to your discretion, okay? I've used it with half, and I've used it with the whole bag. So however you want to do that will be just fine, okay? So we have the pudding, and we have the jello, and we're going to give it a nice mix, get everything well incorporated, and then we're going to go in with the two cups of milk and mix it around just like so with this whisk. All right? Get that in there. What a beautiful color. And we're going to put a little bit of extract. Just a little bit, guys. When I tell you, you know how I like to get crazy with the extracts? Don't do that with this one, okay? This one is very powerful, and you just want the essence. Just a very tiny bit. That's enough. That little bit is really gonna make a difference. Trust me when I tell you this. So now we're gonna give it a nice stir and it'll start to set up as pudding would, okay? It'll start to get nice and thick, okay? And that's what you want it to do. While your cake is in the refrigerator cooling down, beautiful. I'm gonna mix this for a while until it starts to get nice and thick and then I'll show you what we're gonna do to this topping as well. Okay, so it's been around about seven minutes and you can see just how beautiful and thick this is. And the essence of the orange smells amazing. I have to go in and taste it. I have to, like I can't, I can't. Oh, mm, oh my goodness. Oh yes, and adding just that little bit of or orange extract really makes a difference okay so this part is done all right i can set this aside and then i'm going to come back once it's thickened up a little bit more i'm going to come back and we're going to fold in our cool whip okay so now that our pudding is nice and thick and you can see that it's pudding consistency you always want to wait until it sets up a bit actually i'm going to let this set up for around about 10 more minutes in the refrigerator Okay, everyone, beautiful. Now this is what I want my pudding and jello mixture to look like, nice and thick like that. Now we're gonna put in, you use as much Cool Whip as you would like to use. This is gonna be your topping to your cake. I always like to use one full tub and then a half. Okay, that always gives me the perfect amount and then it gives me a little bit extra to just eat on its own. Okay, <laughs> really I do. All right, and there's always a little bit left over. Okay, so now what you wanna do, just fold it. Okay, and this is how you fold it in this motion. Because if you think you're gonna stir it, what you're gonna do is you're gonna deflate your Cool Whip. You don't wanna do that. So just take the time to fold it. If you have some white streaks going through, guess what? It's okay, it's just gonna make it nice and beautiful. But I tell you one thing that it is gonna be, it's going to be delicious, you hear me? Trust me when I tell you this. Orange and cream flavor or vanilla flavor is delicious together. <laughs> you must try it. You must make a orange, uh, fro what, what is it called guys? A orange float, you have to do that. You must make one of these cakes, absolutely. And you must try one of the orange cream sickles at, the, at your local grocery store. You must try it. Just to say that you've had it before and you understand the flavors. Okay, so I'm done folding this. This is gonna go into the refrigerator until, until my cake is nice and all the way cooled down, then we'll ice our cake with this. I have to give this a try. Like right now I have to. Look at this. Look how beautiful. Oh. Mmm, 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 mmm. Doggone, it's so good. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. This is going in the refrigerator. Now, there's one thing that I wanted to show you. In memory of my grandma, my grandma loved orange slices, this candy here. She loved them, loved them, loved them. That's why I'm going to use these. Now, 
You can use a mandarin orange, you know, you can peel it and you can decorate your cake with this if you'd like. Or you can leave the rind on and just make it nice and beautiful, however you would like to do that. My grandma loved these orange slices so much. We would find her, like she suck on these all the time. We would find her sleeping and one time she had her mouth open and she had a piece of orange slice in her mouth while she was sleeping. And I can remember when I was younger, I don't know how old I was, but me and my cousin Rodney, Rodney, if you're watching this, tell me if you remember this story. My grandma was sleeping and she had an orange slice in her mouth and we was trying to like grab it out of her mouth like this, you know, and every time we get close, she'd kind of wake up and move her mouth. <laughs> But it was the funniest thing. So I'm choosing to use orange slices. It's gonna be amazing. And with every cake slice, you're gonna get a piece of candy, right? Amazing. Okay, everyone, so our cake is nice and cooled down, all the way cooled. Put your icing right on top of your cake, just like so, really easy. Nothing that I make in this kitchen is hard to make. Everything that I make, you all can do the same thing as well. Trust me when I tell you that. And it's gonna turn out exactly like mine's would. Now, with the icing, you put as much as you would like to have or as less as you would like to have. If you'd like a thin layer, then by all means, just use a thin layer, okay? I kinda of like my icing to be at least that thick. All right? So we're gonna do just that until I get it nice and smooth. I'm gonna take a little bit off because I have it a little bit thick. Oh, it tastes, mmm, doggone it tastes good. This goes back into the refrigerator to set your icing up for a few minutes, maybe about a half an hour. And then we'll come back, we'll say a beautiful prayer over this, we'll slice down into it. We're gonna give this a try. I'm gonna let you all know what this tastes like. Be back. Remember, this is going into the refrigerator for a half an hour. Okay, everyone, going into the refrigerator. Not before we decorate it. <laughs> we have to decorate it. Now, there's a flat side, and then there's this beautiful side. Okay? You just put them on there just like so. If you want it to take a dollop of whipped cream, and then put this on top, absolutely you can. Okay, it's really up to your discretion. I just kinda like to put some here and there, okay? Just like so. Beautiful. Going into the refrigerator right now. Get one more, just like so. Okay, everyone, our dr orange dream sickle cake has set in the refrigerator for a half an hour. Let's slice down into it. Let's say a prayer over our cake, then we're gonna give it a try. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today, your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. We thank you for this beautiful dessert. We thank you for the roof over our head, the love, the peace, and the joy that you bring us daily. Amen. Orange Dream Sickle Cake 101. Gina Youngstyle, you all never had this before. You better make you some. Look at the inside. Look at that beautiful flavor going all throughout the inside of this cake. Look at that. Can you all see that? Tell me in the comment section if you all can see that beautifulness. And look how tall this cake stands. Amen to my beautiful prayer. If we didn't already say amen, let's dig in right now. Beautiful, nice, beautiful, moist cake. Okay, let's try this right now. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Beautiful. i am got my eyes right on this side right here. Look at that, look how gorgeous and beautiful. And look at that orange going all throughout this cake. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. 
If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Jeannie Young uploads one of these awesome videos. Tell your family and friends and everybody you know all about Jeannie Young and what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night. Mm. Oh, doggone. Mm. You all better take a bite of this right now before I eat it all. Look at this. Look how amazing. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. 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 Good night.